Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week has probably been my most requested video ever because I'm bringing you my top tips for perfectly filed nails and this will work with acrylics or gels. Stay tuned to find out my secrets. And this video is continuing in my Professional Products Basics series, which I've done for you. And this is going to be demonstrated on freshly applied acrylic nails. And if you want to know how to apply the acrylic like I'm doing here on the screen, then there's a video in the top right corner for you, which was live last week. Now, because I will be doing this on fresh acrylic, I'm not going to go any more abrasive than a 180 grit file. And that's because it can damage and crack the acrylic, even if you can't see it. Otherwise, if you're going to be doing this on gel or older acrylic, then you can use a 100 grit file. If you don't know what I mean by grit, basically the lower the number of the file, the more rough or abrasive it is. So a 100 grit file is going to be a lot rougher than a 180 or a 240. On freshly applied acrylic, I'm going to demonstrate by starting first with a 180 grit file. And we're just going to refine the shape of that free edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can go back in later and make sure we're really happy with it. And now we're going on to those side walls. And don't worry if you can't keep up, I'll run through it all again in real time later on. But what we're doing here is we're working on getting really nice straight parallel side walls. And that's what gives us a lovely slim looking nail and stops that hippie look where your nails tend to come out at the free edge and go back in again. And this is the area you want to concentrate on. If it's easy, you can go in with a 240 rigid file like I am and just really get those sides tucked in nice and neatly. And if you notice, I'm using my fingers in my holding hand to pull the skin back at the sides of the nails. And this is to make sure that we don't catch the skin with our files. Now it's time to start really building that shape of the nail. And what we're doing here is we're going from the outer edge and pulling inwards diagonally over the nail. And we're trying to start building that sort of mound shape we're aiming for that apex with the majority of the product down the center of the nail because that's what gives us strength and a beautiful shape. The reason we want an apex is we want that sort of curved shape with the highest point in the center of the nail and that's because it gives us the strength just like a bridge or an archway. And next is the TV control method. Now this is where you hold the file and rest your index finger on the top of the file lightly. This is just to steady it, it's not to apply any pressure at all and it's just so you get a feel on the nail file basically of what sort of pressure you're applying. We're going up and down and over the sides of the nail and this is to give that lovely smooth finish. If we concentrated on one area at a time we're going to end up with ridges and flat spots and that's not what we want. We want a beautiful smooth nail that's so natural looking that people can't tell it's actually acrylic or a false nail. Now it's on to the horseshoe method as I call it and this is where we go around the cuticle area. You may want to swap to a rigid 240 file at this point. I do that because I like the control that I get around the cuticle to really get rid of any ledge of acrylic or gel and get that really gentle blend so you can't see where it goes from acrylic or gel to your natural nail by the cuticle. Now we're just going to stop for a minute to take a look at the nail from the side to see where our apex is. Now our apex should be at the highest point of the nail and it should be halfway between the cuticle area and the free edge of the nail, so that's the very end of the nail. It should work with product building up from each side to this point. However, if you look at this nail, it's a bit heavy at the tip end here with a bit too much product. So we're going to thin that down and take it off. Again, looking at it from a barrel C curve, you can see here that we've got too much product towards the left side of the nail and that will cause an unsightly nail and make it weaker in some areas. So we're going to slim that down and make it symmetrical. Slimming that side down is really easy. We're going to take our sort of Christmas tree sweeping method of filing and just take some excess product off that side of that nail to smooth out that beautiful arch when you look at it from the barrel C curve. Just make sure you go back in with your remote control filing to smooth out any ledge that you've created through slimming down that side. We're just going to make sure that the whole nail smooths across beautifully. Again, you can go along the free edge of the nail and make sure it's nice and smooth and just keep checking the profile down the side of the nail to make sure that your apex is in the right place. As you can see here, it's much slimmer now and much nicer with an even balance of product before and after the apex. So now I'm going in with my buffing block and going over the whole nail. And links to all of these products are in the description. 
The purpose of this padded buffer block is to make sure that you're not left with any flat spots or ledges and it gives it a gorgeous smooth finish to work on. Essentially the purpose of all these filing methods, which are really easy and it might seem really complicated but I can promise you, a couple of times of doing it and it makes total sense. Start from the outsides of the parallels, do the sweeping Christmas tree, TV control, horseshoe and then we're going to finish with the swirly whirly in the middle. This will all make sense shortly. However, if you do do this method, it makes such a difference to the way that your nails look. Now, ideally, you want to do most of your work when you're applying your acrylic or gel, so do most of it with the brush. But the fact of the matter is, it can take a lot of years of experience and practice to get to a stage where you can do most of the work with your brush. So until you can get to there, this method will certainly help. So the purpose of these filing techniques ultimately is to produce such a smooth nail that you have the most amazing line of light. If you don't understand what I mean by line of light, don't worry, I can demonstrate now. When you cleanse the nail when it's finished, you want it to be that when the nail is wet or polished, the line of light is perfectly straight. That's a sign of a perfectly applied nail without any lumps and bumps. And you can even turn the nail in the light to make sure that the whole of the nail is nice and smooth with that straight line of light. And now time for a real time run through so you can see how quick and easy this actually is. We're going to start by refining that free edge just to make sure we're happy with the shape. Then it's time to make those side walls parallel and make sure you hold the file nice and evenly on both sides. Then we're going in with our sweeping Christmas tree diagonal filing motion and we're going to do this on both sides of the nail to make sure they both slant up towards that center point. When you're happy you've removed all the hips, you can always go in with a 240 grit hard file if you want. It's time to go into the TV control method of filing. And we're going straight up and down and moving over the nail as we do so that we don't get left with any flat spots or any ledges. Then it's time to go round the top of the nail. Now you can either do the horseshoe first or the squirly whirly first, but I'm doing the squirly whirly to try and remove some bulk. Then I'm going into the horseshoe method around the cuticle area and I do normally start with my 180 file and then swap to my 240 just to get in nice and close. You can repeat any of these filing methods as you're doing the nail and keep looking down the side of the nail and down the barrel C curve to see what the shape is looking like. I'm going to go back in with the 240 file and just keep it nice and neat around that cuticle area. And then when we're happy with the look, we can finish with a buffing block and this will remove any final flat spots and give us a beautiful smooth mirror shine finish to work on. When you're totally happy that all the nails are beautifully smooth with a gorgeous shape and a perfect apex, then just go in and cleanse the nails. And I normally use a mix of isopropyl alcohol and acetone. I've got these nails ready to apply gel polish onto, which I'll show you in another video. But at this stage, you can apply whatever you like on the top. I hope this video has helped you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every weekend. Let me know in the comments section if there's anything that you'd particularly like to see. And just to say, I will be coming back with some nail art videos very, very soon. I just wanted to make sure that I gave you all the videos that all you guys have been asking for. But fear not, I am coming back with my usual nail art. So thank you very much for watching and subscribing.